It's not in the cards for you. I'm pretty good at insults. And I got the internet and a lot of free time. Sure, I get it, ladies. If I attack you, you'll attack me and then go to another guy. So it only makes sense that if I'm kind of respectful towards you, you'll go to another guy. Right. Somebody in the background always said something, so that's what you idiots fucking believe. And meanwhile, the capitalist media tells you communism is bad. It tells you anarchism is bad. Because the news media, since 16th century England, has been owned by capitalists, which is rich people. As a matter of fact, the media has been controlled by rich people since the dawn of human civilization. And there was a brief period of socialism and communism, which capitalism defeated by propagandizing against Americans and other industrial nations. They call it work, but really what they should call it is slavery because your surplus labor is being taken and you're being lied to. I don't know how to break this to you, but you are not a capitalist. You are an exploited worker with Stockholm Syndrome. Capitalism has us fooled. The hustle 24-7 culture is toxic, and many of us don't have an identity that isn't attached to our careers, education, or earnings. You are enough even when you aren't busy. Right, somebody in the background no, it said something, so that's what you currently believe. We need to normalize resting. You are enough when you aren't busy. We need to normalize resting. Capitalism began in England around the 16th century. They immediately went on to colonize half the planet in search of new markets, committed multiple genocides, traded slaves, and engaged in constant war. In school, we learn how communism is evil because of a famine. They also teach you that communism killed 100 million people. Yeah, capitalism kills 100 million people every five years. I'm hearing too much recycle, compost, go vegan. And not enough, 100 corporations cause 71% of the pollution on the planet. As a matter of fact, your car in urban areas, through gasoline, causes 50% of the pollution. Here's an idea. Every year, the richest Americans declare the winner of capitalism. They get a badge. They uh, have all their wealth donated to the people. And they have to start over at zero dollars. I really love how you guys think you can become billionaires via positive vibes and not unethical business practices. It's really quite amazing. We need to nationalize the internet. We pay to develop it. We drop $400 billion for infrastructure through our taxes as Americans. And then the companies never completed the work and just kept the money. Why the fuck should private companies restrict it? Fuck them. Nationalize the internet. During the collapse of the USSR, 75% of Soviet citizens approved of the USSR. Don't forget that the American media is owned by capitalists. It's pretty incredible that homelessness isn't a mainstream political issue at all. Neither party, the Democrats or the Republicans, give a shit. 
We could solve it tomorrow and wouldn't even miss the money, but there's no profit in that, so it's not a possibility. With this final caveat on homelessness. It's one of the most glaring U.S. human rights atrocities. And also house people are more likely to look for work, save money, and buy more stuff. When dishonest propagandists claim socialism is a failure that results in bread lines, take a look at actually existing capitalism in the U.S.A the richest country on earth, where thousands wait for hours to get food while hundreds of thousands die of COVID. As a matter of fact, the starvation in Rhode Island right now is at the same rate as during the Great Depression. A vaccine should not become a privatized commodity used for corporate profiteering. Instead, it should be a global public good and shared with the world. No one is vilifying rich people. They are villains. If you run a billion dollar company, give yourself millions in dollars uh, in, in, in benefits, but pay your individual workers less than a living wage and give them shit insurance, what are you if not a villain? 66% of Russians in 2020 regret the fall of the Soviet Union. 57% of East Germans defend the DDR. 63% of Romanians say life was better under the RSR. 72% of Hungarians say life was better under the RSR. 72% of Hungarians say life was better or Serbs, I'm sorry, 72% of uh, Hungarian, is that right? 72% of Hungarians say life was better in Yugoslavia. Joseph Stalin was viewed favorably by 70% of Russians. The highest approval rating of any president that I've been alive during was like 50% under Obama because of health care. 50%. Yeah. The biggest genocide in human history didn't occur in Nazi Germany, but on American soil when 100 million Native Americans were killed by the United States of America. Of course, you're going to bring up the gulags. Stalin's gulags were propagandized against by the capitalist news media. Rich people. They own the news channels in America. Let's examine those gulags. Two-week annual holidays at home. Marriage was allowed. Cabins were for married prisoners. Wages equal to common citizens. Sending savings to family was allowed. No prison uniforms. No leg irons and handcuffs. Common living, no cells. Freedom of movement within the Gulag area. Awards, rewards, and release for prisoners. Education, music, and theater for, for prisoners. Those gulags don't sound so bad now, do they? They sound better than a lot of just like working at McDonald's kind of like minimum wage job. Capitalism is a mental disorder. Communism was better. The people of blind faith <clears throat> will sometimes agree with us that people of blind faith are discompassionate, hypocritical, and inconsistent. But then the next day, 
they'll go prove it. This is why atheists have a hard time finding true love. Because... Well, you might agree with me that the people of faith are discompassionate, inconsistent, and hypocritical. Soon after, you'll try to give us hope. And then soon after that, you'll destroy it. You know, you'll say it uh, like a thousand times. 18 is good enough for me. You'll be four years old. You'll be a dude. 18 is good enough for me. 18 on the dot would be great. An 18-year-old girlfriend would be great. And I'm checking IDs. You could say it's age inappropriate all you want, bigot. But it doesn't matter. Your opinion literally doesn't matter. It's kind of like saying it's going to be black women for me. It doesn't matter what your fucking opinion is, you fucking racist. I'm not saying it's only going to be black women for me. What I'm saying is you are entitled to have your preferences. I'm just telling you sometimes those preferences are grounded in bigotry and that you're wrong. Men mature with age. Think of how many times you call your boyfriend an idiot. You'll be like 25 or 30 and how many times you just call your boyfriend an idiot. You'll be 18, especially when you're 18, your 18-year-old boyfriend. It's like you have to babysit his ass and constantly warn him of what's coming, usually a breakup, if he just fucks around and, 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 and screws you. I did that with my girlfriend when I was 16. My girlfriend was 18, and she said, okay, I'm going to go clean my room now. Don't come up there. Because I want my room to be clean. And of course I walked up and said hi to her. And then she broke up with me soon afterwards. So when you're young you make these stupid fucking mistakes. And because you're older and you've made all those mistakes. And you might not even be sexually very experienced. I lost my virginity when I was 27. You also have the experience of knowing the stupid things people do to get their girlfriends to dump them. Like cock blocking some other guy just based on age phobia or classism. Your girlfriend is going to look at that like, that's not very reasonable. You're being an asshole to that guy for no reason. So when I say go fuck yourself, bitch, to Chris Hansen, this Popeye looking motherfucker. See, he's trying to get in my way. It's not in the cards for you. What I know is you wouldn't be saying anything unless it was in the cards for me. You're just trying to gaslight me, you little fucking bitch. It doesn't matter, you Popeye-looking motherfuckers. It doesn't fucking matter. I'm entitled to have my own thing. You can have your own thing, and I can tell you that you're wrong, and then we can have a civil discussion about it. That's fine and fair. You call me a, a, a cabin name only, which is really weird. Because ACAB wants dialogue with Thin Blue Line. They don't, they're not there to kill each other is what I'm saying. ACAB and Thin Blue Line want dialogue between each other so that they can resolve some issues of overspending on military shit and racism shit. They want dialogue with each other. And I want dialogue between them because you never get anywhere by not talking. You'd be one of these dumb asshats like, don't bring up racism. You're just going to cause more racism by talking about racism. Uh, no, you don't. You cause less racism. You have to look at this. We're in Washington state. This is a very liberal state. It's also a Democrat-controlled country right now. So if you talk about racism, good. Talk about the evils of racism. That'll cause less racism. Good. You should talk about the evils of all forms of bigotry. You should talk about the evils of people cock-blocking you. You should. Because it'll cause less of it. So it doesn't really matter what you say about me online, Christopher. You're a hypocrite. You're probably out there fucking around anyway. I know for a fact that you're a wife cheater. You're probably even a wife beater. I can't say that for sure, but I know you crashed a $13,000 check. To cover up your affair with your mistress, you fucking dumb hypocrite.
So it doesn't really matter to me if you're harassing me over the internet. I block you, I tell you to go fuck yourself and block you and you leave me alone for a little while. It'd always be some variant of go fuck your mother. Uh, but if you're going to harass me offline, I have a telephone in my pocket. I could call the police. That's the reasonable thing to do. Just because someone's a cab and they're being harassed doesn't mean that the a cab person wouldn't call the cops. Defund the police doesn't mean we won't rely on the police if we can't handle the situation. There, there's people that don't like violence. And if you get in their face because they don't like violence, they're still going to call the police. People have phones in their pockets. There's cameras everywhere in the downtown area, even under bridges, those lights have little pinpoint cameras in it. So if you're under a bridge or in an alleyway, the businesses still have a camera pointed at you. I usually stick to the downtown area. So wherever I'm at, there's no fucking blind spots in Spokane when it comes to a camera. You're going to get caught. I have a phone in my pocket. You think I'm some big pussy that only says this stuff on the internet. Well, I mean, ask around. If you fucking harass me in public, I'm still going to say the same thing. Go fuck yourself, bitch. I'm going to call the police if you do it one more fucking time. You know these fucking celebrities. <clears throat> They'll get on YouTube or the television and tell you what to do, even though they're doing it. You know what I mean? They'll tell you, like, social distancing, social distancing. But they're meeting at their secret parties so that they can have their soirees and their gangbangs and their orgies. They'll get on the boob tube. Social distancing, social distancing. But there are all those secret parties in Los Angeles and New York. So you know the rich people that aren't going to those parties or going to some sort of secret thing. They'll they'll get on the television screen and be like, have their spray of banaca or whatever. They'll they'll tell you, don't smoke, kids. As soon as the scene's over, they're just lighting up a Marlboro. These fucking celebrity hypocrite ass motherfuckers. Chris Hansen doesn't give a fuck about sticking it to pedophiles. I've said for years, 18 is good enough for me. And he just fucking attacks me. He doesn't give a fuck about pedophiles. If he did, he'd go after the millionaire and billionaire celebrities. That, but he won't because he wants his job back with to get to Predator because he got fired for lying about some motherfuckers who ended up fucking killing themselves because they wouldn't stop being harassed. I don't know why somebody would kill themselves. I've been at suicidal points. I understand that. But I'll get it right up in your fucking face IRL and tell you to go fuck your mother. And if you're going to be violent, I got a fucking phone. I don't give a fuck. Ricky Gervais is out there pointing out and laughing about the celebrity and billionaire pedophiles. But no, not Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen won't pick on the rich people that are fucking children because he wants his job back. He wants to climb back on the fucking top because he's a little bitch and a little cocksucker trying to get his fucking money back. He's probably fucking children himself. How was that chick that you had an affair with that you cast the uh, $13,000 down and they got caught like a couple of Januarys ago trying to cover up your shit, bitch? If you cared so much about pedophiles, why aren't you going after the fucking Hollywood elite or the millionaires and billionaires like Bezos and the Jeff Epstein's and stuff covering up that shit? How come during Jeff Epstein's all oh shit, you were silent? If you give a fuck about pedophiles, you'd attack the rich motherfuckers. The, the billionaire syndicate that controls this world fucks children. And you're out there bitching about pedophiles without attacking them. Go fuck your mother, Chris.
The funny thing about that Chris Hansen video is how low he sank. Because you could literally pay some celebrities a couple hundred bucks or washed up celebrities a couple hundred bucks over Cameo. And they'll just read some fucking script like Chris did. He doesn't have anything going on for him. He was fired from that job he had on To Catch a Predator because he got some people to commit suicide. He bounced a check for $13,000 because he was covering up uh, an affair he had with a mistress. It was questionable whether she was even of age. Uh, he's so down right now that you could just go to Cameo and pay Chris to say whatever the fuck you wanted. It's not like he honestly believes it. It's just that somebody might have paid him a hundred bucks or a couple hundred bucks to say that shit. He's that much of a loser. Chris Hansen, you're that much of a loser. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. There are literally two companies that developed the vaccine for COVID. 500,000 people have died. So Biden's up there giving in a very impassioned bullshit speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Trump pansies were idiots. And, and uh, Trump didn't do anything for the people either. I hate Trump. But fucking Biden. Oh, he's so impassioned. Shut the fuck up. Two companies. Two. Two companies. Were called on. One of them was Pfizer and the other one. All the president would have to motherfucking do is go in and say, listen, this is a human rights violation. Give us the vaccine so the government can dole it out. We'll pay people to get the vaccine. There's no fucking impassioned bullshit. The U.S. government is is corrupt. You, you, the lobbies are, pay the politicians to say shit through the lobbyists that, that makes you fucking heartfelt about the bullshit that's going on. All the government would have to do is say, listen, give us the vaccine or rolling tanks up your fucking business and we're taking the vaccine. You're not going to bribe us through the corrupt lobbies of Washington, D.C. But they're not fucking doing that. Politicians are corrupt, especially in this country. This is a human rights violation. Just take the fucking vaccine through the power of the government and stop lying to the American people. Fucking bullshit. Oh, give up. The U.S. military is the strongest military in the world. And you're telling me you can't just, like, roll up some tanks and a few stealth bombers on Pfizer and say, give us the fucking formula for the vaccine. Give us the fucking formula. We're taking your business to the ground. We're going to run a bunch of U.S. Marines up your ass if you don't fucking stop clowning. Now give us the fucking vaccine. Give us the formula to make the vaccine and give us all your supply of the vaccine, motherfucker. Do it the fuck now. Our Democrats and the Republicans are being a bunch of pussy-ass fucking cowards. Now, I don't give a fuck about your fucking splitting hairs about my language. Take the fucking la the, the, the tanks. You have tanks. You're the army. You're the fucking Marines. Take the tanks and the soldiers and the guns and say, listen, Pfizer, give us a vaccine or your CEO is going to be drawn, quartered, and shot. Fucking stupid motherfuckers lying to me. Yeah, fuck you, you dumb motherfuckers. You and your fucking lying ass. Gen Z generation saying you're anti bigot with your classism and age phobia, not inviting me to the parties. Stupid motherfucker, you see a left wing acting like a fucking right wing motherfucker with your fucking flat bill motherfuck clone fuck dumb fuck attitude. Fucking sheep ass fuck.
Tell me you're not a bigot. Yeah, women will date somebody that doesn't see their fucking bullshit. They need to call it out and then just go date some other Gen X dude and some right wing dweeb says it's not in the cards for you. Stupid dumb motherfucker, you lying to me. Get the fuck away from me. You fucking do it in public. I tell you to go fuck your mother. I'll call the fucking cops, you bitch. Like I owe you something. Goddamn fuck tutted motherfucker religious motherfuckers. Hypocrisy. Inconsistency. Discompassion. Then agreement. Then you go fucking do the fucking thing that I just called you out for. Stupid motherfucker. Fucking hate watchers when all you gotta do is laugh and not drop the insult. You stupid dumb motherfucker. Get the fuck away from me. Fucking lying at me. Stupid motherfucker. I don't give a fuck about you. You got all the honey. So I'll just call you out for your fucking misogyny and fucking homophobia and you parrot fuck. Go the fuck away. Fascism motherfucker. You try to co op veganism or fucking Satanism or fucking metal or any fucking thing. You fucking parrot lemming motherfucker. Get the fuck away from me. Fucking fascist ass fucking idiot. Saying I'm greedy when I call you out for greedy. If I had a honey, I use your two pieces of chicken. You'd probably get your own two on my money. Call me greedy dumb motherfucker. Lie ass fuck. Tell me you're an anti bigot generation Gen Z, not inviting me to your fucking parties. Agreeing with me with the anti capitalism shit, still not inviting me to your fucking parties. Fuck you, dumb motherfucker. 90% of Gen Z anti capitalists. Pro left wing motherfuckers, both party aligned to you. Lesser of two evils, my ass. Roll tanks. Get the fucking vaccine of these people. They're fucking dying. You dumb motherfuckers as you hook up at the bars and you fuck up on your dating sites and shit every time I ask a question. You fucking don't answer it. I'm mean to you and you attack me, so that makes fucking sense. Nice to you. You leave anyway. Go to some other dumb motherfucker, Gen X clone motherfucker. It's either about the fucking money. Or you like a dude that don't see through your fucking bullshit. That's bullshit. It could probably cause you out for your age phobia when you're fucking a naughty little. You are monogamous and platonic. <laughs> Enough. I'll, I'll be monogamous. But I'm not here to be put on with Gen Z women. Be 18. I'm, I'm not here to be platonic. I'm not here to hang out with you and be platonic. I'm here to hit that fucking pussy. Get that fucking baby made. A little marriage certificate. Have a family. Don't these motherfuckers in your fucking... Bullshit where you fucking agree with me and then you go to the fucking do the fucking thing I call you out for you dumb motherfuckers Right wing dumb motherfuck fascist co-opting my shit fuck parrot fuck You think you'd get away with it IRL? Nah, no, you pussy ass fucking cow I tell you to go fuck your mother and I'll call the cops Leave me the fuck alone, you know you're a fucking pussy how I'm saying shit 
instead of listening to what I'm fucking saying. Fucking bitch made motherfucker clone fuck. Biden ain't shit. Trump ain't even ain't shit. You dumb motherfuckers are lying to you. Corporate lobby is telling the politicians what to do. You're just going to believe the Democrats and Republicans. You fucking dumb. You fucking clones out there with your fucking tattoos. Your flat bills or some kind of fucking clone thing. Swooping the honeys. Where you're just like every other dumb fuck out there. I know what you're doing illegal. Fucking hard drugs to get these women to suck your dick. Fucking see you clone fucks out there. With more than one woman, I know what you fucking did, you illegal fucking drug fuck. I'm call the cops. Oh, this guy, he's got his two fucking girlfriends, says he's against greed. Oh yeah, whatever, dumb motherfucker. You, you're selling illegal drugs. Get the fuck away from me, I'm calling the police, you bitch. Stupid motherfuckers laughing and insulting, saying I'm not a comedian. Go fuck your mother. Stupid, dumb, idiot, motherfuck, greed mongering, motherfuck. Let this in him only fascist fucks. Yeah, not introducing me to women. Fucking discompassionate dumb motherfuckers. Get the fuck away from me, you fucking clone ass two girlfriend and more having sons of bitch. You and your fucking greed not hooking me up with any phone numbers and shit. Doing your illegal activities. Think I don't have a fucking phone, you harassing me in public and shit. Spokane Police Department. Because you won't leave me the fuck alone, learn your fucking lesson, stay in your fucking lane. Greedy motherfucker, I don't like you. Misogynistic homophobe, getting all that fucking pussy with your flat bill fucking... Sheeple fucking dumb buck fashion. I think he's covered in tattoos. Looking like every other dumb motherfucking clone out there. You got carbon copy gingerbread fuck. Like I'm greedy. You're the greedy one. I'd share. You're just a greedy motherfucking little right wing motherfucker. Get the fuck away from me, you fucking manly. Pussy ass coward fuck. Let this name only dumb motherfucker. Get your greed. No information. Fucking the right wing dumb motherfucker. Co opting my shit. Parodying off me. Fuck you, you fucking right wing dweeb. Maybe you should like my posts instead of downloading them, you fucking hate watching retards. I don't give a fuck, man. If I can say, well, you're bitches too. So we'll all be fucking just do whatever, you know? Bitches. Assholes. Stupid motherfuckers, get the fuck away from me. I don't give a fuck about your fucking feelings, you fucking money worshipping idiots. Fucking cookie cutter motherfuckers. I'm bowing down to Biden when he could just say, hey, give me the fucking vaccine. We got the US military, you dumb motherfuckers. You don't think. Both these parties are evil. Both these parties are evil, you dumb motherfucker. Get the fuck away from me with your bullshit.
you know, ham fist it just to piss you off, you hate watchers. You laugh and then you insult when you're supposed to laugh and just leave it alone, you dumb motherfucker. And your background noise. You're going to be like, oh, what's he talking about? Who you fucking talking to? You fucking talking about background noise? We all disagree with you. You holding out. <laughs> Giving them fucking phone numbers. You're out there hitting the pussy expecting me to hook you up with something. Go fuck yourself, motherfucker. Five O. Five O be called. Either leave me the fuck alone. Don't fucking talk to me. Don't fucking look at me. I see you out there with two honeys. I know you did something illegal with drugs to get it. You either leave me a fuck alone, bitch, or I'll call the fucking popos. Or you hook me up if you want my fucking time. I'll hook you up enough, you dumb motherfucker. Maybe you should work on your fucking bigotry and you're fucking slumping off to some other guy when I'm nice to you. Sure, you'll date Gen X as long as it's not me. Whatever. Dumb motherfuckers. Assholes. Bitch made motherfuckers. Retards. I don't give a fuck. Get the fuck away from me. Splitting hair, motherfuckers. Downvoting my posts and shit. Fucking idiot, motherfuckers. Get the fuck away from me, you son of a bitch. You age-phobic classes, eh? Retards. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You know? Whatever then, Gen Z. Stop thinking about my penis, woman. Stop thinking about my penis. How you want it deep inside you. Right wing at that motherfucker. Stop thinking of my penis then. Monogamous. I don't need platonic with Gen Z women. Get the fuck away from me. You may have a fucking question. No, oh, you may have. Go fuck yourself, you dumb fucking cold motherfucker. Gingerbread fuck. Paper dolls. Get the fuck away from me. Fine, whatever, Gen Z. I don't give a fuck about you. Stop digging my penis, woman. You're scaring the hell out of me, man. Everything that I do good, I try to do good.